All right, what's up, everybody? Animation panel just ended right now. Literally just ended. We had great seats. Wow. We had an amazing panel. Hey, what's going on? I cannot believe what we just witnessed, what we just saw. We had nine Disney princesses on the stage at the same time. Jody Benson, Paige O'Hara, Mandy Moore. I mean, everybody. Kristen Bell was on stage. They were all together. The voice of Moana, the voice of Tiana, the voice of Merida from Brave, the voice of uh, Pocahontas. Nine Disney princesses all in one stage. And Sarah, Sarah Silverman, because she is now an official Prince Disney princess, Sarah Silverman. They were all on stage together at the same time. And that was nuts. Oh my goodness, we saw so much stuff that has not been released yet. We saw a nice, good, big, giant clip from Wreck-It Ralph 2. Wow, you guys are gonna, you guys are gonna, it's gonna knock you off your feet. We saw clips for, I'm, I'm just forgetting everything right now. Oh, uh, Incredibles 2, the whole cast came out. Craig T. Nelson, Holly Hunter, Samuel L. Jackson was here on stage. That was, um, oh God, that made my day right there. Um, Coco was the big finale. They had a huge mariachi band come up on stage and dance throughout the stage, the floor. Benjamin Bratt came out and sang one of the songs that he's doing in the, in the movie. And oh, it was, that, it was so, good Lord, it was amazing. The, to open the animation panel, John Lasseter came out and showed us basically a small clip of a movie project they're working on that is untitled. But picture cars and planes, but with jets. And man, this footage was in tense. You had fighter jets. Two, two fighter jets flying with each other, and then a stealth bomber just comes out of nowhere, flies, just crushes them. Oh, it was. Yeah. And there's no name. There's no name for the movie. So that's another unreleased thing. Um, they showed us um, Frozen 2. That uh, Mandy Moore came out. Not Mandy Moore. Kristen Bell came out. Talked about the movie a bit. And they talked about their 20 minute short that's coming out in November. And as she was introducing one of the clips they were going to show for the 20 minute short. The microphones cut off and we thought it was a mess up, but no, she's like, apparently we need to have somebody come finish the song and Josh, Josh Gad came out and finished the, did the whole song that you're going to hear in the new Olaf short, which is about Christmas and celebrating the holidays, which uh, he came out and he killed it. Josh Gad, you crushed it, crushed it, crushed it, man. And so, so I just can't get over what we just saw in this panel. And right now we're all getting a poster of Coco, the Pixar animated feature that's coming out soon. And it's a limited edition D23 poster that we're all just gonna get for us. So you'll see that on eBay in a couple hours by other people. Not me though, I'm keeping mine. And what else? I'm just I'm just so enamored by everything. The Wrecker Ralph 2 clip was off the chain. Off the chain. So I'll try to give you a synopsis of it. Uh, should I not? I don't know. It was, if you're a Disney fan, you're going to love the clip, they, the Wreck-It Ralph clip. Let's just put it this way. There's a reason why all the Disney princesses came up on stage for Wreck-It Ralph, after the Wreck-It Ralph clip. And I'll tell you right now, all the Disney princesses are in Wreck-It Ralph 2, but that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'll say right there. It's crazy what they did. Oh, God. I wish I could watch that clip over and over. And they showed us, uh, like I said, Incredibles 2. They showed us a great, uh, great clip of Mr. Incredible and his son, his little baby. Oh, it was so good. Little or Jack Jack, that's his name. Little Jack Jack. And... Jack Jack's discovering that he, his powers fighting a raccoon that was pretty dang funny. Uh, and John Lasseter killed the whole town. He hosted the whole thing, gave out shirts from his new line, and uh, overall, 
It was just excellent. We got to sit second row from the stage, right in front. Not front middle, but just front to the side. Uh, so that was huge, huge ending. Like I said, Coco, they had mariachi band come up on stage uh, through the aisles. They shot confetti out. And oh, here's, here's the aftermath of it. Everybody trying to get out. I don't know, I wrote down so many notes, it was hard to keep track of everything that was going on. Uh, yeah, there was, they showed us Toy Story 4, a little featurette of what's going to go on. Some clues, they didn't show us any footage, because they're still working on it. But uh, it's something that you guys are going to look forward to. John Lasseter is not directing Toy Story 4, which we just found out today. And the new director, I believe, is uh, Josh Cooley. And he started out as an intern, intern 13 years ago at Pixar. Next thing you know, today, he's directing Toy Story 4. So good, good for him. Uh, and with, uh, like I said, Frozen 2, they showed us... Uh, they didn't show us anything for Frozen 2, but they showed us what the directors and producers did for... Um, to help uh, with the movie they went to Norway they went to Sweden they went to all these uh, villages all these uh, Icelandic uh, areas that were just amazing and uh, so you're gonna look forward to that oh man these posters look amazing I cannot wait to see this poster I want you guys to see my poster when I get it I'm about to hit that. but uh yeah here's the XO huh oh yeah it's, it's open it's over right now. They're trying to cut my bag open. That's all right. Thank you. Uh, what else? Yeah, like I said, we couldn't. We had to keep our phones in this bag. As soon as the panel was over, I brought with my phone out and uh, wanted. I had to talk about everything after it happened. So we're gonna go. That's all right. We're gonna go to the expo floor now and try to get in line for live music. As soon as I cut through this floor. I will get back online and uh, we're gonna rest a little bit more, grab something to eat, uh, get that third panel going for the live music, uh, live action music. There's gonna be a lot of old music that Taylor loves. So I can't wait for this. Check out the posters, hold on one second. Man, these are nice posters. Hold on, let's go over here. See the posters right here. <laughs> there they are, right there. I'm gonna grab me one right now. Yay! Thank you so much. Oh wow! It's upside down. If you want to check it out? This is a beautiful poster. This is probably one of the awesomest looking posters I've seen. There's Taylor right there. So. I will let you guys go. If you guys got any questions, uh, go on my Twitter, big underscore Bubba underscore B, and then I'll try to do a couple more Periscopes, talk about what we saw at the live action panel, and awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Nine princesses on one stage. That's nowhere else but D23. Later, guys.